Being a collector is a generally pricey venture. Collecting plants is no exception. Depending on what you collect, things can be really expensive. Now, if you're looking for a way to keep your expenses in track, then you're in luck. If you stick around, you'll learn 10 ways to collect succulents on a budget. Number one, when buying from a garden center or a big box store, look for sad looking plants well, at least the ones that are still rescuable, and ask for a discount. Chances are, they'll agree. Number two, while doing that first tip, ask if you can take the broken off or fallen leaves since they can't sell those anyway. You could still grow pops from them, but of course, do not purposely break off any leaves from the healthy plants. That's just plain wrong, man. Number three, find people who are doing cleanups and letting go of their excess plants. Chances are, they will be selling those really cheap or even free if they want to get rid of it ASAP. I've been putting out listings once in a while, so if you're in Melbourne, you might see them. And I'm sure a lot of others do that as well. In fact, I've gotten a lot of plants this way. Number 4. Do plant swaps. This does not have to be plants only. Be creative. I've got some friends who traded succulents for produce, like fruits from their garden, vegetables, stuff like that. In fact, I traded some of my plants for this strike. Number 5. Do swap meets. This is similar to plant swaps, only at a much larger scale. And you know what they say, the more, the merrier. Number 6. Consider buying leaf cuttings from other collectors. This might be risky especially if you haven't grown one from leaf yet. So do check out my video on this if you're stuck. Number seven, never buy on impulse. Sometimes the rare varieties go cheaper after a few months. Take your time. I too am a victim of this. A few months ago, I bought an Echeveria Lawi and it was a decent size. I paid $35 for it. And the past few weeks, the prices for each one, the same size has dropped to less than $4. So, I could have saved more than 30 just by waiting, man. Number eight, avoid eBay when you can. Don't bid if you don't have to, especially try to avoid the bid types of listings. Set limits for yourself if you have to. Number nine, when buying plants, grab the one which has the most number of heads or offsets, because down the line, you can make these offsets grow and you can sell them off in the future. So essentially, this works like a long-term rebate. 10. When choosing plants of the same price, pick the one that looks the most mature. Don't just go with what looks cute or pretty right now. The mature ones would produce offsets much sooner than the younger plants. So this means that you can sell those offsets later on once they grow large enough. But that's not all. We've got a bonus tip here for you. Here's my friend Kai. Intro! Thanks Chuck! Hi, my name is Kai and I'm all about finding the best deals and creating new ways of generating income. So my bonus tip today is how can you make your garden more beautiful but at the same time, how do you create a second source of income? And this is what I'm talking about. Grow a garden of succulents and as they reproduce in the growing season, take the excess succulents that are coming up, pop them and sell them at local farmers markets and swap meets. Now I'm sure if you're watching this channel, you probably have have a green thumb similar to Chuck. But did you know succulents can grow very quickly and they can quickly outgrow their space within a few seasons? This is a great opportunity for you to turn what is a hobby and generate some secondary income and perhaps pay for some supplies, tools, and maybe even part of your rent. Now next time you go to the store, take a look at the planting aisle. You'll probably see some succulents being sold there. Where I am, they are usually being sold around five to $10 each little pot. Now if you follow the tips from this channel, you'll easily be able to grow healthy succulents very quickly. And you can probably make between 50 to $100 a weekend just selling succulents on the side during the growing season. Who knows, give it a shot. You have nothing to lose except maybe one sunny Saturday and you meet some new friends at the local market. Now my channel, The 24K Life, is all about how I generated secondary incomes just like this and how I created the habits to retire at 27. Now I spend my time helping other people set up their lives to leave their day jobs and find financial freedom for themselves. Now if that interests you, check out my channel link down below in the description, okay? Hope to see you guys there. Back to you, Chuck. 
So that's it for my 10 tips and one bonus tip. I hope it works well for you as it did for me. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more of this from me, please hit like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Thanks so much for letting me join today. Don't forget to come over to my channel and if you like what you see, write me a message on one of my videos and subscribe. Hope to talk to you guys all soon.